Once upon a time, I was lost. Stranded on a distant, dangerous world. An orphan with no hope of rescue. And then, in the most unlikely of places, inside a battered old police box, I found a home and a family. There was Ian, dashing and smart and heroic. Barbara, brave and determined. Stephen, intrepid and curious. <laughs> and then there was the doctor. The wisest man I ever met. Whose eyes sparkled like the night sky. <laughs> whose temper burned like the sun. Our travels took us across the universe to fantastic worlds. Doctor, look! And miraculous civilizations. We can travel anywhere and everywhere. The distant past. <laughs> and the far future. Joining those who fought for freedom. Battling those who spread terror. Each adventure made me who I am. And eventually... brought me here. To my new family. In the end, our lives become stories. And in the telling of those stories in verse, song, or sculpture, we keep them alive. And good stories should live forever. Tell me another one. <laughs> your mother used to get tired of my stories when she was your age. I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> Come on. Which one would you like? The Daleks. Again? Tell me about Dracula and the Daleks. All right, then. <laughs> Do the voice. Do the voice. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> Doctor Who, The Collection. Season 2. Well, let's have a look at this great wonder. Classic episodes newly restored for Blu-ray and packed with special features. So let's go back to the very beginning of the story of Doctor Who for a history lesson from William Russell, the man who played Ian Chesterton. We did, as a little group, gel very quickly. And we used to try and have lunch together. They became very grand. Are we talking hampers from Fortnum? That sort of thing. What do you make of that, Doctor? Jackie Hill worked in a chocolate factory. The Cadbury's. Wow. Were they in love, Ian and Barbara? And look who it is, Maureen <laughs> O'Brien. So what spirit did you go to that audition in? Never thinking I'd get it, but might as well have a go. The, the late Donald Tosh, script editor, said that you'd once said to him that his script isn't flipping Shakespeare, only I don't think he said flipping. That was his memory. I haven't changed. <laughs> we had to make the programme as if it was live. That's how it felt. We were allowed to break twice. The director had to be so on the ball. I might, on a good day, have broken ten times. It was like doing a theatre performance, in a way. Collectibles, memorabilia and merchandise. Wow! Look at all this stuff! This is only one of two known to exist. I've actually been offered £8,000, which I turned down, obviously. Eight, of, grand. eight grand! You were offered eight grand. Who was the man who story edited the first 51 episodes and helped to shape the mythology and the characters of the programme? I can't stress enough how important David's influence was in those early days of Doctor Who. I do think he should have been given much more credit than he did. In Neon Lights! So it's not just a case of writers going in and out of fashion. This is an active sort of blacklisting. Now you're talking. Right from the beginning, 
They were terrific. He is rather exciting. <laughs> it's all really right. Oh, my God, what is it? Looks like you after a night out. No one ever saw it looking as good as this. I mean, the picture that we've got there is ten times better than they ever saw in the gallery. Yes, yes it is. Yes. Oh, that's better. Ah, good. London, 1965. Doctor Who, the collection. Isn't it marvellous? Season 2 is available to pre-order now. Mm.